Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just finished up a product this morning. I know my skincare empties was recent, so this won't make it into the next empties. I just finished up the It's Skin LI Effector Tan. This was wonderful. It has licorice root in it, which can calm down redness and improve areas of hyperpigmentation. I definitely saw a brightening effect with this. The main reason I was motivated to use this is because it has polyglutamic acid in it. And I had tried the Inky List polyglutamic acid serum, and I thought that was great. So I wanted to try this as a, to see how it compared, and it's definitely better than that product, although that product is good. Polyglutamic acid has an amazing ability to hold on to water in the skin and help hydrate the skin. I have a video on it wherein I introduce this. So check that video out. But I wanted to share it with you guys again because I finished it and I am definitely going to repurchase this. It was not irritating or anything. And I certainly did see a smoothing effect and a brightening effect with using this. This brand is a K-Beauty brand. Um, you can get it on Amazon. That's really the only place I have found it. They have a variety of other products. I think the majority of which have fragrance, but this particular one, the LI, LI stands for licorice root, does not. So yeah, it's pretty affordable. I mean, you know how Amazon is. They change prices all the time, but it ranges from 11 to $14 typically. Hopefully they haven't jacked it up to $30 or something as of the filming of this video. I hate it when they do that. But I wanted to share with you something else. You guys know how much I love the Theraplex Barrier Balm. I was using it a lot in the winter time. Um, it has microcrystalline wax in it. It's just a very nice occlusive balm for dry skin for providing a seal to trans epidermal water loss. But I've recently been trying out a Hotalabo product. They're um, the Hotalabo Premium, I think it's called Jelly Oil. I got this on Yes Style and it is great. It's basically Vaseline plus hyaluronic acid combined into, into one product that is a balm consistency. Yeah, petrolatum, which is what Vaseline is, petroleum jelly, petrolatum. Wonderful, wonderful at sealing in transepidermal water loss. So if you have irritation, patches of eczema. I mean, Vaseline is amazing and definitely help. Uh, people put it all over their face and do well, but one thing about Vaseline, aka Petrolatum, is that it's just occlusives by itself. There's no humectants. Remember, moisturizers have three things, humectants, occlusives, and emollients. Emollients smooth things, humectants add hydration, and occlusives seal everything in and prevent transepidermal water loss. There's nothing else in there. So if you have dry skin, um, but you don't have any like frank irritation, Vaseline is not necessarily the best at getting you immediate remediation of the dry skin. With time, it will help but it doesn't add any, it doesn't have any humectants in it is what I'm getting at. So this product is unique in that they put um, hyaluronic acid in this. I wonder how well it actually gets into your skin though, trapped in a vehicle like this, because it's basically petro petroleum jelly and their hyaluronic acid. So I wonder how well that actually diffuses into the skin in this vehicle. But anyways, I've been putting it on my lips and under my eyes actually, um, and it works quite well. I've been putting it around my eyes because I don't like to have tretinoin migrate around my eyes. It causes a lot of dryness and irritation. So I like to use something like CeraVe healing ointment or petroleum jelly around my eyes at nighttime. I've been using this and it is, it's really good. So I'll list it down below. You can get it on YesStyle. It's pretty affordable, but yeah, I have really enjoyed that. And this It's Skin. <laughs> I just did a loosey goosey braid. I don't know how long this is gonna last, um, but it's keeping my hair out of my face. Yeah, it's kind of a grazy day out. It's early in the morning. Um, I'm gonna run some errands and I kind of want to make a uh, strawberry chia jam. So I might do that later on today. So for my lounging about the house outfit for today, I'm just wearing a black tank top from Costco. And then these are these cute little black culotte shorts that I got from ASOS. Remember my neighbor had them for a while. They have just like a little lace edge. They're really comfortable. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I just have this 
house coat on over it, but I'll probably put on a long sleeve shirt to go run errands. And I've got my slippers on. All right, I've just put Margo in her new summer outfit. A viewer actually sent this to me as a gift, but it's from an Etsy shop that I bought Blythe doll clothing from before. It's called Rabbit in the Moon. I highly recommend it if you're into Blythe dolls. But uh, yeah, she sent me this cute little jumper, like denim jumper, like coveralls is a little skirt with a cute little French, is that a French bulldog or a pug? <laughs> so adorable. And the little sunglasses there. And then it came with this cute striped top. And yeah, this shop is really good. The quality and detail is amazing. And also from this shop, she sent these cute little Converse. Aren't they adorable? And they came with little white socks. And then I have, I've had this hat. This is the hat that came with, with my Blythe doll. Yeah, Margo's looking summer ready. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are into Blythe dolls or not. Probably not. Um, but if you are, I'm thinking that Blythe's body, this, I have a Neo Blythe. They have, they have different sizes of Blythe. They have Neo, Midi, and Mini. But I have a Neo Blythe. And I'm thinking that her body is actually about the same proportions as a Skipper doll. So I went on eBay and was looking at cute vintage Skipper doll clothing and I think it might actually fit her. The internet tells me that it probably will, but comment below on if you have any experience uh, building a wardrobe for, for a Blythe doll. They are so much fun. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am on my way out to run errands. It is a steamy, steamy day. You know, I just drove by a house that had a pool in the backyard and it got me thinking. Those of you who live in Houston, why don't people here, I mean, maybe they do, I've just never seen it. Why don't people with pools put screens around their pools like they do in Florida? I've always wondered that, like, to keep the bugs out and stuff. Is that like some odd city ordinance or something that you can't do that? Maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems like while a pool is always nice, it's kind of unpleasant with the mosquitoes. So, yeah, why don't people, why don't people put screens around their pools here? I-D-K. Uh, yeah, it's steamy, hot, and the pollen count has been really high. <clears throat> my allergies have been acting on my seasonal allergies. So that's never pleasant makes you like kind of itchy sporadically yeah enjoy that so hopefully maybe it looks like we might get a rain dumping that might kind of damper things down a bit costco got some nice uh 14 karat gold jewelry in i like that circle purple bracelet Ooh, i like the chain Bangles are nice too. I must have just uh, fired up the uh, chocolate chip cookies in the bakery. I can smell them. It smells heavenly. Over here in the uh, bathroom accessories. Water pick, ultra thin power comb, massage force. Looks like it could be good. Improved hair manageability. Don't fall for that. Let's see how that would work. Oxo. All right, so for my strawberry jam impromptu recipe, I have all Costco ingredients, of course. I have two pounds of strawberries that I have washed and de-hulled, and then I'm gonna use chia seeds, and I'm gonna sweeten it with this Lakanto uh, monk fruit sweetener, the classic versions, kind of like just regular white sugar. But it says you can replace one to one. Yeah, in the fall, I fall slash winter, I love making cranberry chia jam. Oops, somebody didn't get D-Hall. Let's not let him hang out in there because 
that'll be kind of weird. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna try pulsing this just as is. I honestly haven't played around too much with my blend tech, but something tells me I might need to put a little liquid in there. I'm not sure, let's try this. All right, that basically made strawberry juice. I'm impressed with how that pureed up the strawberries. Now, I think if you were really particular, you would probably consider maybe straining this to remove any seeds. Have you guys ever had strawberry soup? It's really good. It's common in, I feel as though it's common to eat that in like, Norway? I'm making that up. Somewhere else in the world they eat it. If you live in a country that eats strawberry soup, comment below. Um, but it's really good. It's just like a chilled strawberry puree. Maybe they add other things to it. I'm not entirely sure. But it is very good. Anyways, that's kind of basically what the consistency of this is. Um, but... I'm gonna sweeten it with some of this Lakanto. And since it says it's a one-to-one -one ratio of what you ordinarily would use for regular sugar, I'm just gonna do a quarter of a cup. Here. So I also have this key lime juice that I've had for a while. I don't buy this regularly, but it is super convenient. I know it's obviously better to have fresh, but whatever. I'm just gonna add a little splash in there as well. And I'm gonna mix it now that I've added the sugar and that little splash of lime juice. I'm just gonna do the, the mix. All right, I'm gonna have a little taste to see how sweet it is. How sweet it is. Yeah, I think that's about right. A quarter of a cup, that seems right. <laughs> now, I have this Pyrex that holds six cups. So this made, this is a convenient thing about the blend tech. It tells you how much volume there is. This made three cups of the puree. So I'm gonna pour about half of it in. And then, oops. I'm gonna add the Nutiva. Chia seeds are really good, but my goodness, they are a nightmare to clean up. They stick to everything. So that's why I'm putting, I'm putting the uh, chia seeds in rather than in my blender because I don't want them all in my blender. Um, all right, let's do... I'm gonna do half a cup of chia seeds. I want this really, actually maybe I better do, I'm just gonna do a quarter of a cup of chia seeds. Eek. Okay, I had to dump some of my footage into my computer so I could keep filming, but I just put the quarter of a cup of chia seeds into half of the strawberry mixture here. The reason I did it that way is just because I didn't want the chia seeds spilling over the top if it got to, to be too much volume. So I'm just gonna add the rest in. All right, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup more. <laughs> Oh, 
So half a cup in total. I want it really thick, you know, like a gel gelatin, like a jelly. <laughs> jelly, jelly. I do still have that vegan gelat gel, <laughs> the gelatin-free jello, jello mixes. Those are really good, but I wanted this to be more, it's kind of going to be more of a puree gel, kind of like pollen or all fruit. I love that stuff. It's pretty good. It's vegan. It's like scrambling eggs here with a fork. <laughs> Don't let all of those omnivorous skill sets go to waste. All right, I'm gonna put that in the fridge and let it set up for a little while and we'll see how it comes out. I fired up this candle from Fresh. It smells nice. This was a PR gift that the company sent me. I don't know that I would actually buy this though. I imagine it's pretty expensive. It puts out a subtle um, fruity, like kind of a grapefruity scent, which is nice, but it doesn't seem to be burning down the it seems like there's a bubble in the glass. Is that just me? Looks like a bubble. I do like the the votive though. I like how it's kind of rounded, smooth. It's pretty. All right, so I just pulled it out. It's been in the refrigerator for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And it's set up. It's more like chia pudding, <laughs> but it, it tastes really good. I had a little taste of it. So yeah, I'm gonna have that. Uh, throughout the week, um, just as like a breakfast. I'll have a few scoops of that and make like a little chia pudding bowl. And I just sliced up some other strawberries and I put them in my food dehydrator. I have not tried dehydrating strawberries yet. I have it at 145 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna let it go for 24-ish hours, maybe less. But I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and we'll see how they come out. I didn't soak them in uh, lemon juice or anything. I just sliced them and put them in there. So hopefully they they don't get too brown, but I'm kind of looking forward to trying them. I haven't used my food dehydrator in a while, but I got this as a Christmas gift. It's the Kosari brand, the same brand as my um, pressure cooker. And I've been really happy with it. It's pretty quiet and it came with multiple trays so you can do a larger batch. I've tried melon in here and it comes out really good. Melon's probably the best thing. Even if you get if you get a melon that's not like the best, like as sweet as you might like, putting it in the food dehydrator somehow like revives it and makes it 10 times better. It just concentrates the sweetness. So yeah, we'll see how these go. The, these particular strawberries from Costco have been really good. Well, hey guys, it is the end of the night. I'm gonna go to sleep. I washed my face mask today. I have it, I've, had, I've had it here drying, um, so it's all dry. Thanks to, thanks to my friend Vornado down there, judging away. Uh, yeah, I, I just washed this in a little bit of detergent, let it air dry laundry detergent, fragrance free. The Nelly's laundry detergent, I really like that. I get it on iHerb, it comes in that cute tin. I think I need to order some more though. I'm kind of running low. I'll put that on my list of things to do. And yeah, I like that. But um, what I really like, this is kind of random. I love the smell of uh, my fabrics that have been bleached, like my whites, like a white t-shirt that's been bleached. It kind of has a certain, like, bleached, not, it doesn't smell like bleach, but the fabric has a distinct extra clean smell. At least in my brain, I associate it with being extra clean. And today flew by. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I um, have it so cool in here because it's hot, so hot outside. And I actually got slightly chilled, so I'm wearing my little camo sweatshirt. It's kind of a thin sweatshirt. Yeah, but I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today, and I hope you had a good Saturday. Did you go to the park? Can you go to the park in your area? I feel as though a lot of people's parks are somewhat open, but like, I know playground equipment in many places is still roped off. I'm willing to bet though, does McDonald's still have a play place? I, I haven't been to a McDonald's in forever, but I'm pretty sure that 
if they do still have the play place in McDonald's. That has been shut down. But yeah, that was always a treat for me as a child, going to the McDonald's play place. Namely the ball pit. I love playing in the ball. It's a small child. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Come to find out. It's like very nasty. But back then, like, we really didn't, I don't know. When I was growing up, those things didn't seem to be a concern. We were a lot more, I don't know, my childhood, I feel like I got dirty and yeah, it was just different, different times, I suppose. I had a lot of free time, free unscheduled time as a child. That if I only had known what a gift that was. It fosters creativity, though, to be bored and have unscheduled time. I need to get that back in my life currently, have free time. It's hard. Adulthood is uh, just a series of scheduled tasks that repeat themselves over and over again and are interrupted by teeth brushing. Uh, but anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe! I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!